Carbon dioxide is a recognized greenhouse gas emissions that is contributing to the warming of the planet. To meet the Paris Accords requirements of 1.5 degrees, it is absolutely critical to take CO2 out from the atmosphere. There is no other technology today that can enable decarbonization and removal of CO2 at such a scale. The scale is in not millions, but billions of tons of CO2 per year. You know, Talus Energy as a company really has two parts of its business. First and foremost, we're offshore energy producers. So we produce oil and gas in as safe and environmentally responsible way we can off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. We like being offshore because we think in deep water it's the lowest carbon intensive barrel when you compare oil and gas operations to other places around the world. So we're glad that we do it offshore and we're proud of that skill set. What we've then learned is that skill set that makes us so effective as being an offshore oil and gas operator can be used in the sequestration and monitoring business that we think will evolve along the U.S. Gulf Coast and it may be even beyond that. And so that is, you know, geology, that is drilling operations. And so we've launched this CCS business and Talos Low Carbon Solutions to complement what we do in oil and gas, to be more involved in the broader ecosystem of the energy complex. What can we do, not only to lower our own emissions in our operations, but lower emissions broadly in the communities in which we live and work? Oil and natural gas are essential for everyday life, whether it's for fuels, for transportation, or even for the products we use every day. And we know it's not going to be an overnight transition, so as we're discovering new energy and fuels, we can work to decarbonize the existing hydrocarbons that we're using today and to help some of our large industrial partners decarbonize their footprints. Carbon capture and sequestration is all about placing CO2 underground for permanent storage. The three elements are capture, actually securing the CO2 source, transport, moving that CO2 to the injection site, and sequestration or storage, which is injecting and placing that CO2 in saline reservoirs for permanent sequestration. Talos has a lot of great skill sets that are transferable from traditional energy into the low carbon space. We've already announced four projects along the Gulf Coast, which is our backyard. Uh, we can continue to develop uh, these new projects with our knowledge of the subsurface. We've got some of the most fantastic rock qualities around the world here in the Gulf Coast, uh, which can store a lot of CO2. In addition, as we look beyond kind of our backyard in the broader neighborhood, we've got these large industrial regions uh, with a lot of emissions, and so they're ripe for decarbonization. And so we can come in and help partner with them and help them meet their, uh, not just decarbonization, but broader sustainability goals. No, I think the fact that we have leaned in fairly early into this idea of we have to do more. You know, we have to do more than just produce the typical oil and gas that we've been producing in the past. So, you know, our view was to lean in on that early and try to redefine who we're going to be tomorrow and going forward as opposed to who we've been in the past. Fundamentally, the blue economy is any generation of product with a low carbon intensity score. In most generation of products, there is CO2 carbon dioxide that is emitted. 
Talos brings the storage of CO2 as a mechanism to turn that economy into the blue economy, which means that to get that product, the amount of CO2 carbon dioxide that was liberated was minimal. To do so, the CO2 that is generated in that process has to be stored for long term for multiple years and a storage provider or a storage site enables that. So the blue economy, the blue piece, is the storage of CO2 long term. Talos plays a really great role with its stakeholders because one, we've identified who all of our stakeholders are. Um, most importantly though, that we've identified community as a stakeholder. And so typi typically what you see, particularly in this day and time, is that organizations are really good at identifying other kinds of stakeholders. We know who our regulators are. We know who our elected officials are. We know all of that. The community stuff is a little bit squishy. You may or may not know who the community leaders are. And some organizations then shy away from that because they're not sure where to start. I think what makes Talos unique is that they don't shy away from that, that there is a real recognition that community is an important stakeholder in the work that we do. And understanding that even though the work that we do at Talos is primarily offshore, it does not mean that the community around that sh those shores do not are not important to us. And so what makes Talos, I think, really unique is that there is always this community investment. It is our responsibility as an organization to ensure that and to participate and give back in the ways that we can and support our employees who also have that desire. And so I would suggest that Talos as an organization is not only uniquely positioned, but it's special because it has that focus at its heart. You know, I think people are changing what they want out of energy companies. They don't want to just read about a company that just produces oil and gas. And our job is to evolve into how we can use the skills that we have and the skills that we're using every day and not only do the things we do really, really well, which is produce responsible energy offshore, but then take that to another level and say, hey, look, we want to be in the entire ecosystem. We want to understand where else our folks can help out. And we realize that in the sequestration, the carbon sequestration and storage business, we can assist those industrial emitters by once they decide and make that commitment to capture their carbon, and we think they will because it's so important as we think about climate broadly, we can participate in transporting it and sequestering it permanently in the ground and be a participant in a bigger ecosystem around energy and responsible energy production and, and energy products than we have in the past. And so our vision is to really create an energy company of the future that's focused on more than what it just does and has traditionally done and impact more people by offering kind of a broader set of services.